Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So as I'd mentioned, I think I'd shown the spike wrist and I'd shown this fur, which is called Skull Beast. Technically it is a Wendigo, I think, fur, but that is that term is offensive to some native people. So the term that we're using is Skull Beast for this fur. Anyways, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> the badge. Anyways, this is coming in two different choices. We in like the fashion community have been working hard to petition this to be an eye item, although some people wanted it to be a head item. I mean, actually, no, I think she, Melly, initially said that was going to be a head item, but the owner, the person who made this, COC, they made both of these actually, so congrats to them. And I'm not sure if they made this one or not, but either ways, um, the owner who made this actually wanted it to be an eye item because we don't have enough eye items and we already have a bandana type thing in the head item section already. So then there was, was a vote count for this and eventually it was kind of close and we kept rallying and petitioning for this one to be an eye item. So they released two versions of these. That's the first time it's happened in TFM history that two versions of the same exact item have come out. One for the head and one for the eye. So technically you can get them both and double it up, but anyways. Hello! And then we have a bunch of cool, awesome new things that are going on, which is great. So title does not automatically change when you earn a new one anymore. Awesome. When you open dressing, it will display your current outfit, which is also awesome. You can get the codes for that if you ever need to with your colors and all that. So if we do slash dressing, now it opens this up. As you can see, it opens up the items already. It doesn't start off with 000, which is awesome as well. And then we have shift R will open whispers with the last person that messaged you in a new tab. So as you can see, I've gotten some whispers on my alt. So shift R, this is the last person who said anything. So I'll be like, hi, if I do shift R again, nothing happens, okay. Oh, by the way, I did not know this, but I mean, I never tried it, but if I do whisper angel, okay. Actually, no, if I do this, hi, it, I chat myself. <laughs> I can't click it or anything or open it to a new tab or anything, but I can talk to myself. Spam. <laughs> I did not know this. I don't know if it happened now or if it was before as well, but I've never tried this before, before now. <laughs> Divine mode saves on your profile are now displayed in pink instead of red. Oh, that's so cute. It's pink now. <laughs> I think people asked for it to be pink before. The colors match so much more, like, matches better, looks nicer. <laughs> so, okay. Alright. And then this thing, which is also really useful. Sham skills interface now displays how much XP you have gained within the current level. So if you go here and then click on skills, over here, it will show you your level you're at and how much XP out of how many you have, which is super, super useful, in my opinion. You can't see it for other people, though, but okay. It's pretty useful, and I thought they were going to put all this stuff over here, but they did not do anything with that. Oh, and by the way, the Green House event is finally coming to an end. Today is your last day, your last ever day to get it, July 8th. It's going to end today. And there was a voting whether our next event should be gardening or if it should be fishing. So a lot of, a vast majority of people have voted for the fishing event. So the next event, which is going to come out, I don't know if it's going to come out in a week. Maybe it might come out in a week. I don't know. Or maybe it might come out later. I'm not positive. But it's going to be the fishing event, you guys. So be sure to collect your relics and finish the whole thing. I've never done gardening events, so I really kind of, I kind of wish it was gardening. But then again, I want to get the little sushi title from the chests from this event as well, so. <laughs> and I, yeah, and then let's jump on into the cosmetics. <laughs> so shop. And then I wanted to rage about all of this because they're making everything way too pricey. Oh, first of all, this was a Wulu fur like two days ago, I think. And I really wanted to get this. And then this happened. The Bambi fur is there now. So if you see in dressing, so I'm guessing now it's going to happen every time. I really don't like this. I don't know when they decide the sales act, like change or anything. But if you see, how far down do I have to go for this? I do not recall. Oops, I think I must have missed it. Did I miss it? Yep. I overshot the item I was looking for. Ah, yes. So as you can see, 
usually whatever the sale item is, when it changes, it hops onto the next one over, the next most recent. So it was a Wulu fur, but then it got changed to this Bambi fur. I don't know how often that's going to happen. It's going to be every single time that these collector items come up. I'm not sure one of these items end up changing or sometimes two of them. It's good, but it's also bad. I'm really sad if that rhymes, okay. But I really wanted that Wulu fur, so cry me. Uh, anyways, like, why? Why Why is this? Could this have changed? It's measly three phrase. Who, who even wants that? Seriously, come on. We really need better sales than in-shop stuff. That is super sad, though, that it changed, especially if it's something you wanted. And then it changed, so I'm like, ah. Yep, I'm salty about the sales. <laughs> Okay, so, oh yeah, another thing is Fashion Squad looks are going to come out on Tuesdays now. Not on Thursdays anymore, along with these items, it's going to come out on Tuesdays. Because they have been trying to drum up more sales, I'm guessing which is also why all these are so pricey. All these furs, I hope the baseline's not $4.50 now, but it looks like it is, and that is terrible. All the baseline furs are going to be $4.50, which it stinks, it really does stink. And this is way too overly pricey. Look at that. These, okay. If we go to the head items, then you look at the past bandanas. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Oh, it's here. That's 500 to 60. This is 700 to 60. Okay. But I mean, the customs here, you could custom so many different things. Dressing. And dressing, you can see, it comes under the head item. Equip. Oh, wait. First reset. Equip. The head item sits lower on the head than the eye item. If you equip it, see it, it equips higher. But either ways, when you customize it, you can customize each individual thing. So you have that part, you have each of those. <laughs> and then you can customize each of the eyes separately, which is a bit extra, you guys. I'm not sure if anyone really wants two different eye colors, because that would make outfits look a bit weird. But you do have the option if you really wanted that. So you can color it like two different colors. It, it looks kind of weird to me. But like, see, if you layer them both on top, you can have like a shadow of the first thing. So if you want to customize this, like, okay, let's go with, no, let's change up the colors. Yeah, sure, white. <laughs> Red. And then we have, we have this thing, we will make it the same. And these two doesn't matter. So if you want, you can kind of layer it so it has a shadow effect of the first item. If you really, if you have that much extra and you're rich enough, go for it. <laughs> but anyways, it can help you. Anyways, so they came out with a more edgy look, edgy vibes. So this thing, this bandana thing also works really well, personally speaking, with, if you, for head item, if I don't use that, it's an in-store afro. You can make like a whole disco theme. <laughs> Try to get an edgy look and then you have that. But you can come up with a whole disco theme. But see, this will help you make edgy looks. That Where's the hand item? Hand, 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 hand. Okay. Equip. So you can have like some edgy looks. And you can customize each of these different spikes. Oh my god, that's like AJ all over again. <laughs> We want to put each different color. Okay, you can make that whole thing a different color too. So yeah, you can do a lot. <laughs> uh, and then you just like, if you pair this up with, where's the spike? This thing. Totally edgy. <laughs> if you want for the eyes. I prefer this as an eye item, honestly. It's better to have something else for the head item. <laughs> But either way is that, and then if you really want, we do have an in-store in next by collar. Although, I mean, there are only two colors for this. Older items, they had lesser customizations than the newer ones. But <laughs> either ways, there's a lot you can do. So those are all your items. I showed you how they all customize. They individually customize each of these. So that's pretty interesting. And now let's talk about these Fashion Squad looks. The theme was Picnic, and so these looks, let's see. The fur is pretty nice, the ice cream one. In shop, I think this is in store. This, yeah, this was a collector. 
Both are really useful, by the way. And that's a collector, too. They're all really useful, honestly. The whole set is really useful, yeah. And it's not, it's not that pricey, like, wow. Usually it goes up to 700, so this is good. <laughs> it's not that pricey compared to the other ones. Same with this. Not too pricey, so yay. So you have your pig fur, which mm, I don't use a lot. That is a store one, so is that. These two are collectors, and they're pretty useful too. Oh, that's also collector too, that's a really useful hair. But anyways, if I had to choose between these two, I would go with this one, because it has individual items, which actually can be a lot more useful than the individual items on this, because you can actually buy some of it from store. But then again, you can buy it from store to make your whole outfit cheaper. That's also there. That's an option. <laughs> so don't forget about that option either. So yeah. So those are your technically three different items, but kind of like a fourth. But I would rage, like, look at look at that price and look at the price. I'm, I would rage about those two and I'm raging about the sales. <laughs> but either ways, that's pretty much it. Oh, now you decide to show. Hello there. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Oh, someone came in? Okay. Well, anyways, bye, you guys. Cage shop. As always, peace.